Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to show you my challenge as you can read from the title 12 books for 12 months for 2023 so I'm anticipating on the contrary was what I did um, for this year 2022 I'm anticipating this video because I want to invite you to read with me and so I want to get, uh, give you uh, time for you to gather the books that I'm going to show you today so you can read it together with me and accompany my reviews uh, along of 2023 so I'm going to cho choose a book for each month of the year I'm going to explain a little bit of what I know about the book why I chose it um, and I'm anticipating like uh, almost a month is not a month but um, from January so you have time to maybe buy the books or borrow them or something like that so you can read together with me and well let's get into it so January for January I chose Burning Bright by John Steinbeck so I'm going to put it in the description the titles in English so this is my editions in Portuguese because I read some books in English but, but it's not very often so although I talk to you in English in here but you know sometimes it's more easy for me to read books in Portuguese as you can understand but I'm going to put the titles in English down below so if you want to check them out please go in the box to description and there will be every title that I'm going to talk about in here there okay so Burning Bright by John Steinbeck so from John Steinbeck this is a short book so the story of this book um, uh, it was that a, a, libr a library was doing a promotion where in, uh, if I bought two books from a publisher they will give me a free book and that free book was this one and it was a John Steinbeck so I was very curious because I love the author because from him I have I have read To a God Unknown and I love that book I thought it was wonderful and so I'm really curious to read this one so for February where it is it's here for February for February it's my anniversary month so I'm I'm my birthday is on the 26th of February I'm turning 31 so I'm fully in the 30s um, so yeah I'm really excited and to commemorate Valentine's Day um, I'm going to read The Horseman on the Roof by John Giono this is a French author and this is a romance so that's why I'm saying this is going to commemorate the Valentine's Day um, so I saw the movie uh, The Horseman on the Roof this is with Juliette Binoche and Oliver Martinez so these actors here I love them and I love the movie I thought it was wonderful so this is from the this is a um, how do you say it um, a period book uh, this is from 1830s uh, in France so we have here from what I remember from the movie 
we have here a man that is trying to find someone uh, and we have a cholera epidemic and he gets to know this woman that um, invites him to his house because he was um, fleeing from the police and she invites him to um, her house, I'm sorry uh, and they start a voyage together because she wanted to find her husband and he wanted to find a friend and so they voyage together and that's how a romance develops but there is never a kiss or anything during the movie what I thought it was splendid um, and I love this the story is so beautiful it's sad but it's so beautiful and I'm so curious to read the book to see what the writer did with the story and to see if the movie was faithful or not so let's let's see so then ah before that so i have my eye on angelo angelo is one of the main characters of this book or the horseman in the roof uh, and um, Angelo is a character development of that sad character, Angelo. And so I think I'm thinking of buying that book in January and reading it to February. And maybe have a joint review. So let's see how that goes. So then in March... Uh, I'm going to read Gates of Fire by Stephen Pressfield. So with me I already have... I didn't bring it with me, I'm sorry. But I already have the Afghan campaign that is about Alexander the Great. But this book is about the invasion of the Persian Empire so the invasion of Greece by the Persian Empire and uh, I saw a booktuber that I follow reading uh, reviewing this book and she talked wonders about this book so I was very curious that's why I have it in here um, and uh, she talked about very highly of this author uh, so I'm extremely curious. So let's see. Then I'm in April. I'm going to read The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. So I saw this book in another booktuber. <laughs> she was doing a book haul and I thought I, I knew that I heard this author somewhere. I didn't, couldn't point out exactly where but I heard about it or about her uh, and um, the title Catch Me The God of Small Things I think it's so beautiful and so I yeah I, I think I think that this is a gathering of texts by the author so I don't know if this is going to be like essays but we have to wait and see. Then, in May, I'm going to read the Copenhagen Trilogy, Childhood, Youth and Dependency by Tove Ditlevsen. So I think that this one is an autobiographical book. Um, and I heard about this uh, because another booktuber um, talked about it and she um, read it in English because in her country uh, they didn't have a translation but here in Portugal we have and so I bought the book 
uh, and yeah I'm really excited I heard so many people talking about this one and saying wonders about it so I'm really really curious then in June we are going to read Le Miserable by Victor Hugo so I'm I'm making a bit of a cheat in here because I have already started Les Miserables but as I have as I had this book in standby because then I start reading other books and I stop reading Le, Les Miserables um, I'm going to do a bit of a cheat cheat I'm going to cheat in here and I'm going to include this book in um, my 12 books for 2023 because I want to finish finish it so a way of finishing it is putting in the challenge so that's why I'm doing this and I think Les Miserables I don't have to explain exactly why because this is a classic and I love classics and I want to include some classics in my challenge and that's why it's here and in July we are going to do the same thing so I had the Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky in standby as well so in my Portuguese edition the this book is divided in two volumes I'm almost finishing it the first volume so I have a bit a few pages of the first volume and the second volume to read and that's what we are going to do in July so that's another classic a Russian classic and I was really really enjoying it and I want to finish that reading so that's why I'm putting it in my challenge then in August we are going to read Guns, Germs and Steel The Fates of Human Societies by Jared Diamond so this is a non-fiction book and I think this is the first book of a trilogy um, I think the, the uh, other one is Upheaval and I don't remember the, the other book, the, the title of the other book but I'm going to put the images somewhere here so you can see them uh, and this is a non-fiction so this is about the fate of human societies as the subtitle says um, and I heard so many wonderful people talking about so good about this book that this is an uh, open eye about the human race and the human societies and I'm really excited this is a big one so that's why I put it I put it in August so I have like half a year to read it a bit more but you know what I mean so yeah let's see then in in September we are going to read Memoirs of Adrian by Marguerite Yersenar. Uh, this is a fiction. I, f in the first place I thought this was non-fiction. I thought this was really the Memoirs of Adrian, the um, uh, Roman Emperor, but this is fictional. So Marguerite Yersenar um, took this, uh, this person uh, and she plotted it in a fictional story so it's like the memories or the memoirs of Adrian is I think of what I understand is like him telling the story so telling his memoirs um, his memories but this is fictional so I thought that the premise of this book was really interesting and this book is really well talked about and this author as well so I'm really really excited 
Okay, in October we have the horror month, as you know, or at least you should know, that in October we commemorate the horror month in commemoration of Halloween, where I do uh, videos about short stories and books uh, of the horror genre. Horror, mystery, death, gothic, so everything related to that type of genre and ambience. And so for October I chose Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I don't think I have to explain why. This is a classic and I never have read it, that's why it's here, right? But um, yeah, I think it's self-explanatory, so there you go. In November, we are going to read Simple Passion by Annie Ernaux. So Annie Ernaux was the, novel li the, literature, the literature novel from 2022. And I never have read anything from Annie Ernaux. So that's why I'm, I'm putting a book of, her, of hers in here. And um, I chose Simple Passion because for at least till yesterday, that was the only book that I had from her. Now I have more, but for this challenge, I chose Simple Passion. And in de December, we are going to read Amok by Stefan Zweig. So Stefan Zweig is an uh, author that I'm very curious about. I heard so many people talking so highly of him and about his writing. I, from him, I have read Marie Antoinette. That is a biography and I loved it. I thought it, it was magnificent. Uh, the writing was so fluid, so involving, and the way that he, it, it didn't feel like it was a biography, you know? It felt like it was a fictional story. It was incredible, and I w really enjoyed it. So I wanted to read more books from this author, and I had Amok in here, in my house, so there you go, that's why I chose it. And I didn't show you, um, but this, this is the book for the brothers Karamazov. <laughs> I have it in here, I don't know why I didn't pick it up, but there you go, it's in here. And yeah, this is my choices, I hope um, you will join me in this in this challenge. I hope you will um, read together with me and I'm going to try to at the end of uh, every month. I think on the last Sunday or last Wednesday uh, I'm going to try and upload the videos for these books and i hope you will join me and read together with me and uh, at the end of each month you will comment about your reading experience and comment about what i talk about the book and you know accompany me and if you are going to do your own challenge please let me know your choices which books did you choose for your 12 books for 12 months and tell me also if you are going to join me I'm really excited and I hope you're excited too so yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications leave a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!